Hey guys, so just as expected, Apple today released the first beta for their next major update to iOS 26. Today releasing iOS 26.3 developer beta one now this download came in a little over eight gigs updating from ios 26.2 the official final release to ios 26.3 developer beta one now public beta testers you'll most likely see this come available to you within the next 24 hours or so i'll keep you guys posted make sure you follow me on social media for more details on that now as i mentioned the download was a little over 8 gigs as you can see right here this is overriding the os as per usual let's head on over into settings in general let's go under the about section under ios version take a look at the brand new build number now obviously we have plenty of betas to go ios 26.3 will not be available to the general public perhaps mid to late january we'll talk about that here shortly but let's talk about what's new with the latest ios 26.3 developer beta 1. Now, now, aside from iOS 26.3 developer beta 1, Apple also released iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, HomePodOS, tvOS, and visionOS 26.3 developer beta 1. They're all available to download to register developers as of today. Now, the first thing to note is that this is the first beta for iOS 26.3, so more changes will become available before the official release, but we have one major change that I did want to talk about within the first beta for iOS iOS 26.3 and that is a new option that makes it a lot easier for Android devices and iPhone users to transfer data so you can easily transfer data from an iPhone over to an Android device starting with iOS 26.3 now let me show you how this works so go into settings let's go under the generals tab and if you scroll all the way to the bottom you have your transfers or reset your iPhone and now we have that new option right here which is transfer to Android once you click that you go through the prompts here and it it tells you that you need to place your iPhone next to your Android device in order to begin the transfer process. So you can place your Android device next to this iPhone to get connected and begin the transfer process. Once it is connected, you can transfer things like photos, messages, notes, apps, and more. You can even transfer your phone number as you can see right there. Now in terms of health data and devices that are connected by Bluetooth or are protected, those will not be transferred or eligible to be transferred using this wireless feature that allows you to transfer your data from your iPhone over to an Android device. Now you have to make sure that you're running the latest version of Android and iOS and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth need to be turned on in order for this to work. Now when you click continue, it also brings you to the option to actually scan a QR code on your iPhone. You have to authenticate with Face ID. Once you do, you see here it brings you to scan the QR code. Obviously you will scan the QR code on an Android device and it also gives you more options here to continue with the transfer process as you can see right here. But yeah, this is really cool I guess this is something that most users have been asking for an easy way to transfer data between iOS and Android and it is finally here with transfer to Android which will become available after the release of iOS 26.3 now here's another cool feature coming to your iPhone with iOS 26.3 a new update to notifications we now have notification forwarding settings right here for third-party accessories as you can see right here so with this new option this will allow you to actually have notifications forwarding for third-party wearable devices when this option is enabled the Apple watch will no longer receive or show notifications so if you use other devices as a wearable you'll now be able to forward notifications and you can choose one device at a time again a new notification forwarding option now available under notifications which is really cool and again as I previously mentioned there's plenty of changes that could be coming our way in regards to notification summaries perhaps new unity wallpapers and so much more by the time this software is officially released keep in mind that this software won't become available until perhaps a mid to late january next year keep in mind apple will most likely be going on a holiday break for the next two weeks christmas week next week and the week of new year's week here in the u.s coming back most likely the first full week of january starting january 5th that's when we can see perhaps the second beta for this software update and the official release as i mention if history is any indication right this could happen anytime towards the end of january beginning of february next year as the official release for ios 26.3 again there's going to be about two weeks with a no betas coming up here in the next couple of weeks here again christmas and new year's in the united states i'll continue digging around the software again 
So far, this is what I've noticed is new with iOS 26.3. Transfer your data to an Android device will now become available for your iOS device and moving forward. Let me know what you think about this change in those comments down below. Thank you for watching this quick one and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.